Scotia grad and true freshman at the uh, University of Albany men's basketball program. Joe Cremo now with Armin in the back. 104.5 the team. Joe fresh off a 15 point performance last night. You guys beat uh, St. Francis Brooklyn 71 to 56. You are also the reigning American East rookie of the week. Joe, how have you been able to be so successful in your rookie freshman season? I think I'm just, you know, staying humble, just continuing to work hard um, and just stay true to, like, what I've been doing the past few years, and that's always just getting in the gym and, uh, you know, not not ever selling yourself short, making sure you're putting in the work and uh, trying to make yourself the best player you can be. Joe, what's been the biggest adjustment this year coming from high school? Obviously the transition of, uh, you know, coming off the bench and, you know, making sure you can adjust to coming in and being an efficient player. Uh, being productive and just trying to help your team any way possible that um, you know the pace of the game it's you know it's not too bad for me because I played over the summer in the CDBA and um, I got adjusted to that so um, it's going pretty well I think for me uh, as of now but I still got a lot of room for improvement oh yeah you're adjusting pretty well Joe last (laughs) week against Niagara you had a 25 point performance Uh, you were 9 of 12 from the field 3 for 3 3 point range it seems like you figured out the adjustment man (laughs) Yeah, I'd like to think so, but obviously, um, you know, I'm just a freshman, so I still got to continue to, uh, you know, keep improving. You know, just because, uh, you know, I had a couple of good games, it doesn't mean I'm going to stop. I just got to keep continuing to work because I know, uh, you know, that's what my coaches want. Uh, that's what my teammates want. And uh, like I said, I don't want to sell them short of anything. You guys are 10-4, and four, first place in America East. You started the season 2-3. and three. What has happened with this team since, that, since that, those first five games? You know, we're starting to find our identity. Which for me individually, I got a lot of room for improvement. But our team, we got a high ceiling and a lot and high expectations for this team. Coach tells us he's got really high expectations, probably higher than our own. Um, but you know, this team, you know, we feel like we can be a really good team if you know we start clicking on all cylinders. So, um, you know, I think we're honestly we're starting to just play well together defensively and offensively. Uh, hopefully, we can keep it up and uh, you know keep improving. What's it like playing with our favorite Australian, Peter Hooley? Oh, it's great. You know, he's like a big brother to me. Uh, ever since I got here, you know, he gives you know he gives me a lot of uh, back and forth, and sometimes I don't like him too much. But overall, it's it's all it's all love between us. But you know, I'm just trying to make him better every day. I know it's his last year, and I'm just trying to make him go out on a good note. Scotia's Joe Cremo, now a freshman with the U Albany men's basketball program, first place in the American East. Uh, they won last night, seventy-one fifty-six against St. Francis, Brooklyn, and uh, Joe himself had fifteen points in that performance. Joe, any rookie treatment that, that you've had to endure this year? No, just uh, you know, obviously, right when I got here, um, you know, you have that competitiveness that I tried to bring right away, and sometimes those guys didn't like it, so. Um, you know, getting pushed around here and there, but, you know, I try and give it right back to those guys. I'm just trying to make these guys better every day. They're trying to make me better every day. So, you know, maybe a little, uh, it gets a little too physical every once in a while, but. What does, like, too physical mean? Like, you guys give each other wedgies or, like, push each other back and forth or, like, what does that mean? Yeah, pushing each other around, you know, yeah. getting in each other's faces, talking a little bit of trash, but here and there, you know, it gets a little too heated, but that's how it was for me back in high school. And, uh, you know, Scott Stapera ended up being my best friend throughout middle school, high school, and elementary school, and me and him went at it the most. We got in a fight almost every day in practice, but that's what makes us good. Cremo, you were like one of the most well-behaved, polished, yeah, yep. most mature guys that I've heard at your age, and you want me to believe that you go out there on that court and you unleash your tongue a little bit? Yeah, a little bit, Woo! but <laughs> that's, just how, that's just how I'm trying to you know, make myself a better player. I, what's your best line? Like, what's your best? Do you, do you have like a yeah, token trash, trash talk, talk yes. line that you use? Like give us an example. Uh, I mean, I've told I've told Sanders and Singletary they can't guard me before, but that's not you know <laughs> anything too crazy. They have said it, you know a little worse to me, so it's, it's nothing you know too big. I don't have a, a favorite line to use or anything, but you know I just tell them I'm not I'm not backing down anything that they do. That's you know anytime they try and get in my face, I'm just telling them I'm not backing down. Do you have a dance? Do like, you ever make a oh. shot and like oh give me a little dab something like that? Oh, no, I just, you know, I'm an emotional guy out on the court. I try and get my team involved. I don't, I don't really do any dance or anything. Uh, 
maybe just a little fist pump or, you know, pump your chest or go over to a teammate, hit him on the back or something, try and get him a little fired up, but nothing nothing too crazy. You Albany's Joe Cremo, freshman of the week, rookie of the week in the America East Conference. Last night popped 15, last week popped 25. Joe Cremo's on fire, Scotia Zone. Joe, we're so proud of you, man. We were uh, when you were coming out of high school and, and now not surprised at all that you've earned a starting role in Will Brown's lineup coming off the bench to start the year. Congratulations. Keep it going and we're pulling for the Danes, baby. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.